Hi, this is Sally Lynn McDonald, and today I'm going to be showing you some techniques for my fascination folder project. This first technique I call the watercolor slide. I apply a light color, then another contrasting color, and then apply a blender color. This is crushed shells. In between the two colors, I like to use an acrylic block and slide the ink from one side to the other. The larger your block, the less chance you'll have streak marks from uh, running it across the top. Here we apply a screen and lightly add those same colors over the top again to create some layers and some sparkle. And then flip the screen to stamp with it. And this allows us to get those uh, contrasting colors to kind of flip sides. Use your acrylic block to press down and get even adhesion or contact with the surface. Now I'm just cleaning up extra ink once again with the acrylic block. And set that one aside to dry. Here I'm using Glimmer Glam to create a really cool contrast. Glimmer Glam and Glimmer Glaze will resist Glimmer Mist, so I'm just kind of dry brushing on some texture in what it is going to be the um, water area. Adding the waves. And now with the glaze, I'm going to add some streaks of sunshine. Just kind of flick it quickly from the corner into the page and let it dry brush a bit so you can get nice long streaks. You can see how the glam has chunky bits of glitter in it while the glaze is more of a luminescent. Now I'm going to mask off the top of the scene with this highly technical towel method. Apply lots of glimmer mist to the bottom. Remove the mask and place it down at the bottom to mask off the lo lower area. And now add in that sunset sunshine area. You see just lightly placing the towel doesn't really blot it, but now we're just going to wipe off because this is one of the uh, add-on resist pages. So it's got that wonderful design already there and we're just revealing it by buffing off the extra glimmer mist. And I love chalkboard, so I'm going to add a little bit of that just at the very top upper corner and let it drip slightly. And we'll let that dry. Here's the front cover of the book. Now, I love this book, but it has kind of a lion crest going on, which is why it's called the Rock and Royalty album, right? But I'm doing beach, so how do I un- royal it. <laughs> well as you can see here I've done all my glimmer misting and um, the resist is shown. Now I'm going to cover it up. So a small strip of paper with a screen applied. You see how lightly the glimmer mist was applied to that? 
a little bit goes a long way. Isn't that awesome? Just that small change. Here is a transparency. This is from Prima. It has texture in the glittered part, so whatever side is textured, I uh, go on the wrong side, not on the textured side, and I'm just randomly painting some glimmer glam on the back of it. Then I'm taking some glimmer glaze, and I'm just going to take this, um, this is a prototype brush, and just kind of smack against it to get droplets all over. The fun thing is where those droplets come in, in contact with the existing glam, you'll see um, kind of diffuse out, which is cool. Now here is one of the glimmer glass pieces, and here's one that's been glazed. See the difference? It's pretty cool. Here's the cover of that album again. And here are the inside pages that we already showed you. This is just another slide, but on this one I allowed it to dry and didn't really slide it across that much. But you can do it across two pages, not just one. And then you see here, actually one of the, the add-on pages you can get, which is more of an overlay. So you can see the screened and stamped part underneath and the overlay on top. You'll also notice on the tab, I did a little bit of masking with one of the large pieces and then a stamped escape on the edge. Now back to that front cover. We're going to apply the transparency, the little strip of paper, and now here's some chipboard bits with a little glimmer glass, stamped quotes from the stamp set, and a little palm tree. Suddenly, it's not so royal, although that could be a throne. <laughs> now you're seeing the top of the tin that I actually have already decorated um, and putting that little glimmer glass piece on top. I did want to point out um, the leaves are actually sprayed first with the um, Caribbean blue and then a little crushed shell to get the green. As you see here, I'm applying some glimmer glam to the flowers and roses just to add a little bit more sparkle. I wanted to point out while this is going on, the little beach day calling card, the water portion of that was painted with glimmer, gla glimmer glaze. What I like about it is, once again, it resists the glimmer mist, so if you want something to be a specific color, you can apply the glimmer glaze first, and then it'll sort of freeze it in place, right? So when I go to spray the yellows and oranges, they won't change my water into a different color. It will stay the color of the glimmer glaze. So apply your glimmer glaze first, let and let it dry, or you can actually do this while it's still wet. It dries very quickly.